regular heartbeat, headaches, dizziness. That's what several Pepco customers say they are experiencing after wireless smart meters were installed at their homes. And now Nine wants to know why these meters are emitting radiation far more frequently than Pepco claims. Our Kristen Fisher uncovered this new evidence. And Kristen, this is similar to the radiation debate over cell phones and cancer, right? Yes, this is very similar to that debate in that it's the same kind of radiation and the research into its safety is not conclusive. But here's the big difference. You can choose how often you use your cell phone, right? But with smart meters, you don't have a choice. The frequency with which you are exposed to this radiation is determined by the power company. And as I found, it may be a lot more frequent than they claim. This is a meter that tests for radio frequency radiation, the same kind of radiation that's emitted by smart meters. And today, Desiree Jaworski with the Center for Safer Wireless, an independent group that questions the safety of smart meters, is using this device to test three Pepco customers' smart meters. We turn off anything else that might emit this radiation, our cell phones, my wireless microphone. That way, we know that any radiation we pick up is coming from the meters. So this is a smart meter bank. It's inside a Northwest DC condominium building and there's 32 different smart meters inside this building. So what I did was I brought in a meter that measures the levels of radio frequency radiation and what I'm finding is that these smart meters are emitting radiation every few seconds. But Pepco says smart meter communications take place every four to six hours. What Pepco says is happening is that these smart meters send out communications every four to six hours on a daily basis. But what we're seeing is that these smart meters communicate about four to six times a minute, if not more. We also tested two single family homes. And even with just one smart meter, we got the same readings. It did not sit well with homeowner. Lisa Cresselius in Potomac. They're not asking you if they may radiate you or not. No, they They're don't. just doing it. On top of that, it's, it's more than what they were saying. It just comes across as very dishonest. So I brought these findings to Pepco spokesman Marcus Beal, who said, I can't account for, for a test that we, you know, there are a lot of variables involved that, that you know, we can't account for uh, with a test that we're not at, present at. But, uh, you know, we're, we're confident in, in the specs of our meters and, and the, the safeness of the meters at this point. So I asked Pepco if we could go out with their experts to do their own test. They told me they would look into it. And just to be clear, we're not saying whether or not this radiation is dangerous. That's up to the scientists and it is currently the subject of a very heated debate. What we're saying, Leslie, is that our testing simply showed that the meters are emitting radiation more frequently than Pepco is telling its customers. So this is really just an attempt to give people information, to empower Correct. them, and they can make their own decisions about going forward. You got it. Kristen, thank you.